we're looking for ways that we could maybe create our own relief. And try to stay cool any way we can, right? How about foods that naturally hydrate us during the dog days of summer? That's right. Uh, that's one of the places. We'll take a look at some of the temperatures that we've got. Um, really looking at the core of this heat over yeah. Texas. And it looks like that's going to be the case into early next week as For well. Sure. We'll bring in lifestyle expert Karina Heinrich. She's going to join us from Chicago to help us chill out. <laughs> Karina, good morning. Great to see you. Good morning. I guess the kids are still asleep. I was so going to just I was going to ask the same thing. <laughs> let us in it's on some of the family secrets. The home. Yes. <laughs> It was a hot day yesterday, yeah. so they're they're still it chilling out in bed hot. this morning. Exactly. We have so many Heinrich favorites in this house. When the temperature heats up, we need to majorly hydrate, which is so important. Now, it's hard to get my kids to eat a lot of fruits, so I freeze them, which takes on a whole new appeal. Watermelon, oranges, grapes, banana chunks, mango, pineapple. You choose your favorites. So easy. Chop them on a chopping board, store them in Tupperware, and then take them on the go to the beach, the park, and they thaw out. It's a great way to cool down when the temperatures get hot. Mm, I love that. I even put grapes in the freezer and pop them in my mouth sometimes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? What about like popsicles? That usually comes to mind when I think about being out in the yes. heat. Can you make some at home? Absolutely. It's a great way to get your kids involved, and then they'll eat those fruits. So easy to make. Choose your favorite food, peel them. Then you slice some lime, some water. You can even add things like Greek yogurt to up, up their protein, sneak mm. it in, chopped strawberries, put them in popsicle mold, and then you enjoy. They're so easy, so delicious. Very cool. Of course, water, of course, is how we want to stay hydrated. Yes. But sometimes kids will say, oh, I don't want to drink any more water, or they find it boring. How can we make that more exciting? Exactly. I put out foods like water food stations. Let them choose. You can put in sliced cucumbers, mints, berries, sliced oranges, lemon, limes. When you get to choose what you put in your water, that gives them the control and then they love sipping it up. So it really is refreshing and you feel like you're at the spa for the parents. <laughs> and you know, Karina, my cousin actually uses the little star cutouts or like moons and stuff yes. to cut out some of the fruit and put it in there. The kids love that as well. What about foods that can help hydrate us? Not just water, but some foods. Absolutely. So people don't even realize that things like strawberries, not only healthy, but 91% of strawberries weight comes from water. One cup of cantaloupe is comprised of 90% water. And then things like peaches, so nutrient dense, but also such a hydrating food. 90% of their water, their weight is water. So it's really easy to add these in smoothies, salads. It's a great addition instead of just drinking the water. You're actually eating your water. <laughs> and tasty, too. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know, a big temptation is ice cream during the summertime. But yes. <laughs> it's hard to eat that uh, day after day and not have some of the negative impact. <laughs> <laughs> that ice cream can give us. Um, what are the give us some scoops on ways to make ice yep. cream healthy? Because again, frozen treats are where it's at. Some scoops, okay, Amy and Craig. You can have your ice cream. I promise. I'm going to show you a guilt-free two-ingredient banana ice cream recipe. Again, mm -hmm. you can choose whatever flavors you want. You just take some banana froze, uh, frozen bananas, peanut butter. Mm -hmm. and you freeze it for around four hours, put it in a high-powered blender, and you've just created the most creamy, indulgent, but guilt-free ice cream. Wow. Ooh, I am in. I'm trying, I think I'm going to try that today. Yeah. Freezing the so bananas um, <laughs> after you peel them, freezing the bananas, and then putting them into that uh, that one uh, machine. I'm trying to remember what it's called, like Froyo or something like that. Yeah. The Vitamix. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Karina, I'm going to try that. I'm going to exactly. tag you on uh, social media. So yummy. Please do. <laughs> Thank you so much for all your tips. Lifestyle yeah. expert Thank Karina you. Heinrich. Have a great weekend. Yes. If you want to check out fruits and vegetables that can help hydrate your fridge or yourself head to foxweather.com to learn more on quenching your thirst love it foods. she's so much fun mm -hmm.